I'm joined by Mr. Eric McKay. Eric's. Well, I'm really looking forward to this game. I mean, Leal, we saw on day one, you know, he was uh, hitting everything. Shots that should have been hit hard. He was attacking every single ball. And that's why he's so entertaining. He's a joy to watch. Sometimes impatient, uh, often brilliant. And alongside a coach now, of course, Lingo, he retired in the summer. It's, a, it's an interesting combination. Now, Liao does most of the running, Silingo most of the shouting. As for Chothas and Garcia, the player that has most impressed me, Pablo Garcia. I mean, it's just incredible. That performance, okay, they lost the game in the end, but he was smashing, he was tracking back, and a really good understanding with Chothas. And, you know, these are two really young players. He's only 21 years old has a very bright future ahead of him. Exactly, and as I said, after after yesterday's match, I saw was, was next to him, just strolling past, and he said, well, where do I go to train? <laughs> yeah. After playing. After playing. A game that went to super tie break. It is Chotha serving 15, love. This game is uh, going to be a tough one to call because you've got uh, Lial, who I think is the best player out there. You've got uh, two players that played really well together. Remember, Pablo Garthi did not play on day one, did play on day two. And you've got Salingo, who is the veteran player, who's got the shots, but doesn't quite have the legs. One of the things I, was just, I mentioned is that obviously Salingo isn't playing top level now he's coaching more this is his third game in three days it's not something he's done for a while is it no but he spends all the time out on court he says he uh, keeps in quite good shape he's a player that uh, he can hit the shots another thing is if you move him around which is probably what the trainer coach has told his two players Chothas and Garcia you know he's not the most mobile of players because he's you know he's 41 years old so make him move, make him move, okay, keep him okay. busy. And also, Liel will have to track across to his side of the court, and then you have an open side of the court to attack. Well, that's something we saw Liel doing yesterday a little bit, maybe a little bit too much, actually, trying to trying to take some of Salingo's shots, cover all that ground. And we've seen it, we saw it as well with Las Vegas smash, didn't we, that when Marta Ortega was doing it with um, Ana Paula de la Peña. It's not always, it, sometimes it can be a wee bit counterproductive. I mean, if you make that gamble, you've got to make sure if you cross to the other side of the court and you're taking your double partner's shot, you've got to make it count, put in a good shot, because otherwise, as they say in Spanish, estás vendido, and, uh, you know, you've got nothing to do and uh, you're left wide open and you'll probably end up losing the point. Yeah, you're, you're out of position and sold down the river, basically. just gets up to it but Salingo has the extra space to to finish into so 15 all Oh, that's easy to recognize because he's got the baseball cap on. This gets too much on that one though, so it's 30-15. Smashed out, one game all.
Garth here was serving excellently on day two. That's what he was doing so well yesterday. And tell you what, Eric, the ball's bounced. The, the court's been really, really reliable, haven't, hasn't it? And just to put in a word here, it is the new Adidas high competition model. Oh, we're seeing with every year how uh, rackets uh, improve. When you look at the first rackets in tennis, of course, they were wooden. And then aluminium, then, of course, uh, Graphite, the same is happening with paddle. There's a constant evolution also with balls, with the lighting, and also, of course, with the surface. I remember the early paddle courts uh, used to have lots of sand on them, but of course, now uh, things are constantly developing. We've got this new Adidas High Competition model, and it is the court chosen as the exclusive official court for the next three years for all PPL tournaments, without doubt, the most suitable court for high competition. So, um, well won there by Silingo, and all of a sudden, a couple of break points for him and Javi Leal. Oh, oh. Another, oh, that's tremendous. Well, I tell you what, we've already got candidates for smash of the match. Well, Pablo Garcia, I think there were 19, 19, 19 smashes, I mean, but 19 huge winners. Those kind of shots which, from deep, OK, he's... Uh, was it one meter 88? One eight, I think he said he was, yeah. So, you know, he's got height. He's not the tallest player on the World Power Tour circuit. Uh, Liao just seemed to pull up for a second there. He's okay. Yeah, he's definitely okay. <laughs> Maybe that's a trick. <laughs> you know, he can serve a little bit soft and he just, wow, thrashed that backhand. Yeah, a little bit careless there from, from Pablo Garcia, however. So we have a break of serve for... Leal and Seringo. Just wondering for a moment if they were just asking him about whether he'd pulled something, but doesn't seem to be any sign of that. That, that's a really nice shot, actually, because it says it sh highlights one of the things that you talk a lot about a lot is that players need the help of their companions to know where their rivals are because you are looking at the ball all the time when it comes back. And there you just saw that with Pablo Garcia. He was focused on the ball. He didn't really know where the rivals were. Obviously, he didn't get it over the net, but it just shows that you are needing sometimes a bit of help from your companion. Yeah, communication is so important. Especially in paddle, short distances, and often not facing your opponent. Well, 2 1, Salingo to serve. One break up already in this opening set. leans over and puts it over backwards out of the court. Bit of power in that one from Pablo Leal. He was, he was pretty deep when he hit that and it still had the legs. Fifteen all. 30-15, once again a bit of power. Tremendous. <laughs> what a leap. The thing is, he's so tall, he doesn't need to leap that much, does he? Well, 188. A meter 88. Starts off like that. What you've got to try and do is make sure it's not a standing jump, so it gives a bit of a run up. That's a lovely lob from Salingo. Oh, 
Just there, we saw what we were talking about from Pablo Leal, how sometimes he just looks to go and do some of Salingo's work. He's aggressive. I mean, he's a very aggressive player. He's to play alongside a more calming influence. That wouldn't have been Salingo when he was younger because he was a very, very aggressive player. But I think he's calmed down over the years. 34, it's another couple of chances to break straight back. Are we going to see it happen in the first match? Is it going to happen again in the second? It happens so often. It's like, say, in other sports, when you score the first goal and you're more likely to concede an equaliser straight after taking the lead. We, and that just slid away there from Salingo. So, to all, Chothas and Pablo Garcia breaking straight back. It'll be Alex Chothas too to serve. I think this is such a tough game to call because, of course, we've never seen these four players on the court at the same time. So there's no previous head-to-head oh. -head meetings. Now, against quite a few players, Liao's shot would have been a winner. But you're going to have to change your tactics. You're up against you know, a very tall player mm -hmm. who's playing very well. Ah, that's a lovely, deft little shot there from Alex Chothas. <laughs> well, is that, is that four, that four and counting now? Or? Yes, I think it's uh, four in the last uh, three games. It was quiet in the opening game. <laughs> just, just warming up. Just warming up. It is a little bit chilly in court. It's, just got, it's getting a bit warmer, though, isn't it? Tell that because my nose has stopped being red. Four, uh, three games to twos, basically all, all even Stevens. Okay, uh, Pico y Pala, Pico y Pala. Chip away at them, yeah. chip away at them. <laughs> That's um, like using the uh, shovel and uh, like pickaxe shovel pitch. You know, you've got to just, just say, like, work step by step, and uh, we're doing really well, and they are doing well. They're leading by three to two, obviously. Now with serve after those two breaks, Lial to serve when play resumes. Like a 19th century gold miner, you use your pickaxe <laughs> and then you use your spade. Commenting there about, you know, let's not try not to give Pablo Garcia too many chances to smash. Wise words of wisdom. It's Javi Leal to serve. 3 2 down in the opening set, but. Five games have lasted 20 minutes, but I was looking at the clock and we didn't get underway until about seven minutes had gone on the clock anyhow. So we're whipping through our games here. And that is 15, love. Yeah, any, any short lobs, any poor lobs, anything that's not, you know, near perfect is going to be punished by Leal or Garcia. I don't think we're going to see many 20-shot rallies in this in this game. But, oh, I was going to say, I bet this one's going to be 25. <laughs> and then the longest rally of the match, of the day, of the tournament. But no, Silingo just uh, knocks it into the net. Just goes wide. 15-30. looking to dominate the net here, just to make sure to limit Pablo Garcia's power on the smash. If you keep him back and keep those shots low to his feet, 
then you might struggle slightly more than those at balls that are lobbed out on top. Of course, uh, we've seen what he can do already in this first set. 30 all. Got some good ground shots though, also. Mm. Here. One of the things that got me yesterday was how well he defended at the net as well. It's a good shot. That's a brilliant play there by Leo. Lovely pick up. That was brilliant how he switched things there with that cross court, Leo. Again, good serve, tight onto the side of the court. And he got a racket onto it, couldn't really do much though. Already six games, and the uh, game clock says 22 minutes. I think we've had about uh, 15 in total. Fifteen love. Oof. Just so much power on that that was impossible to control. Thirty love. Forty love. I think we've seen maybe two rallies of into double digits. It's the absolute opposite of our previous match. Obviously, completely different style players, but it just shows the variety of the styles of play in paddle, doesn't it, really? Here we've got, like, aggressive, big hitting. Previous match with um, the two Claudias and Jessica Castillo and Orsi, we saw some hitting, but we also saw lots and lots of touch play, lots of patience, lots of, lots of lobs, lots of... A lot of shots with the wrist. Well, that uh, Conte Pare with the backhand is really tough. Didn't quite come off for Leal. And 4-3 with serve in this first set. Uh, Salingo will be delivering those serves after the break. Now DJ doing is doing the work. He's a very talented individual. Yep, from Some great tracks. From Texas, he says he's going to try and bring in music with a little bit more of a New York flavour as the tournament progresses. Did have the Ramones on a bit earlier, which was good. It's one of these, I wonder if Chothas and Pablo Garcia are thinking, yeah, we once again, Pico and Pablo chip away, chip away, and then in like a couple of games, we might just be able to step it up, maybe pressure Selingo, look to, look to really work on him. Ah, I was yeah, yeah, what the spray that, yeah, was. that spray is basically just uh, to, to yeah, give you a grip, better grip, better grip on the racket you sometimes see in gymnastics. You know the powder that's used yeah. on the bars, for example. So here they use these sprays. It's like a deodorant for tennis, that's for right. a racket, then, isn't it? They must get some cans of that in Miami. Four, three, two, Chothas and Garcia, and it's Salingo serving. It is so often the fatal eighth game of the set. Or fatal, if you can't hang on to your serve and you're trailing. Oh. We've seen this three times. Yeah. Three times. Smash, Liao comes up short. Garcia always the player, because both players could attack that shot. But for Garcia, it seems to be, well, another day at the office. 
just too much on it. Well judged, though, by Gus Selingo. We miss it's that volley, Pablo. It was well placed, but 15-30. Great ground shot. That was really tough. It was slightly behind Pablo Garcia. And again. Ah, oh, brilliant. But well anticipated. That was really clever there by Leo because it's a good shot down the middle. And then both players take their natural positions, leaving the middle open. Very often. A winner down the centre, and you're at the net. Forty thirty. I'm able to get that lob down. Pablo Garcia. I think it was a big ass, that wasn't it? Basically, down at his feet, scoop it up, and over and down. It's not happening. Forty thirty. Game, four games all. Another big smash, Lial. Oh, we're seeing some wonderful smashes from both teams, specifically Pablo Garcia and Javier Lial. That is just a serving. Defending the position at the net really well. That was something they did yesterday as well against Chingotto and Campanolo. Excellent. That's such a great volley, that backhand. Mm. Spots the space. Excellent uh, execution. Lial again. It's Lial hitting all the winners, and Salingo just keeping those yep. rallies alive. <laughs> just hits it so hard, it takes it away from him. No chance there for Salingo. serve. The problem is if Salingo saying stuff to Pablo Leal on, on court and we can hear him up here, maybe the rivals on the other side of the court can hear him too. Oh, just out. Was it? Oh, in. The yeah, umpire saying it's in. I reckon that was just in. Not that I... Yeah, the umpire said it was in. Salingo still standing there saying it was out. It was it bounced in front of my feet. It was out, but, uh, well... To be fair, the umpire's right there as well, isn't he? There you can see Salingo. Oh, Salingo saying it was out. But, of course, uh, there's not much he can do. The umpire has called it as in. Mike, i just say something was a little hint for what might be happening tomorrow. The ball was out, is what he's saying. The umpire saying it was in. Well. Looking at uh, the trainer just quickly pulling Salingo towards him to say, forget that point. There's nothing we can do now, forget that point. Mm -hmm. 
we're trailing 5-4. Let's focus on winning. I know it's upsetting. You thought it was out. It might have been out. Who knows? The umpire said it was in. That's the ruling on the court. That's what stands. From up here, which uh, I'm going to be very honest, isn't the best view. I thought it bounced on the... On the I thought it was just in. But... I have been proved to be wrong on numerous occasions by we've videos. A, yeah, we've seen a couple of those uh, at the tournament where it's really, you know, a fine line. But I suppose it's like a referee in any game. If they make a decision, you're not going to change. You have it. to respect that decision. I've never heard a referee in my life say, "Well, you've argued long and hard, yeah, and, so why not? and you've come." Why I'm going to tell you, what, yeah, I'm going to change my mind. Go yeah, on. You've convinced me. No, I mean they've got to get back out there, and probably Salingo is still upset he'll still probably say something to the umpire at some point you know you've, you've got to think you've got to you know the only way you can win points and focus on the game is if you forget that point so Javi Leal serving to stay in this opening set <laughs> 15 love good start Oh, Leal uh, caught his arm on the fence earlier as well. <laughs> Do you know what? I think it was his funny bone, which is not very funny. No laughing matter. Yeah. yeah, you can see that he's a uh, uh, bit of pain. It's one of those ones that uh, gradually gets better. The humorous. Delightful from Selingo. Well done. Gained the net, put them under pressure, forced the error 30, love. Well, it looks like Salingo isn't dwelling on that previous shot. You can see they're just stretching off a little mm. bit, uh, Lial. It's not his playing arm, but still annoying. Well played, 40, love. That came off the sweet spot. Salingo smash. Went very high. Out. Went low. Well, that didn't last well, long. Didn't the take umpire long. saying it was in. Well, well, the players said out. The the umpire. Look, even Liao left it. It was out. But uh, Mala. Yeah, so that's good. Good to see the other team saying. Well, okay, well, I mean, the same way as earlier, there was a call that maybe you didn't agree with. Here's a call that we probably don't agree with, but the umpire has said mm -hmm. it was in, and even though Silingo said it was out. So <laughs> Silingo said that yeah, it was out. It should be their point. Anyway, 5-5. Five, five. Pablo Garcia serving again. Oh, you could see that. That's a, such that's an incredible shot. Double-handed backhand on the rise and got his shoulder behind it. So much power and it hit the net at a good point and just flew off at a tangent. And 30 love that just went over the four meter back wall. There, Lial was kind of thinking, please, come on, hit that on, fence. Because it. it hits the glass, it's tough, hits the fence. You might get lucky. Forty love. I said all these games are they're basically going to love, aren't they? It's or fifteen. Forty love. You think, forty fifteen. You know, we've had ten games, soon to be eleven, and just over. Well, in fact, you take away the warm-up time, half an hour. That went so oh, that high. That was painful. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. Um. <laughs> I think he'd got out of the way to have gone into the side glass, wouldn't he, as well? I think he's going to have a little uh, tattoo on his lower back, you know, the, <laughs> the name of the ball. <laughs> it's going to be, like, tattooed 
on the back. That, that he's still smarting, but anyway, uh, 40 15. Still serving for a 6 5 lead. Garth here. Oof. Yeah, that came off the frame, the edge of the racket. Mistimed slightly by Chothas. 40-30. All of a sudden, just a chink. Whoa, what a very, very good shot from Pablo Leal. And, and all Leal, of a sudden, yeah. there is a break point, golden point, and a break point at the same time. And Leal straight away putting his hand up. I want to receive this serve. Played. Yeah, you can see Salingo. When players sometimes pat the net with their racket, it's a way of saying, well played, good shot. So earlier Salingo put in a really good smash, and Pablo Garcia went and hit the net as if to say, that was good. Well, Salingo tapped it about five times. It was a great shot by Pablo Garcia. It's like a 6 5 lead in this opening set. So, best that Salingo and Pablo Leal can hope for here is a tie break. moment to maybe attack the serve I've said that before though and it hasn't worked so Pablo Garcia saying it's um you know they've changed their tactics and now I'm you know I'm struggling slightly more playing down the line I'm comfortable playing cross court I'm comfortable in the center but there are quite a few shots now that are coming down the line so of course they are and I think have changed tactics you know, from how they started the game to how they are now. Because Garth is, well, that, I'm just watching that again. And yeah, yeah, probably still smarting. So, ow. I'm trying to work out which I'd rather do, bang my funny bone against the side of the court or get hit on the back by, uh, by the ball. Obviously, neither would be the best option, but I think I'd go for the ball on the back than the funny bone. OK, it's going to be Agustin Selingo to serve. We either go to a tie break or 7-5. The next probably minute and a half will tell us. All set, just uh, checking at uh, umpires ready. The, there's a cameraman there by the door just uh, filming and uh, they're asking him to please move, move uh, I suppose just in case they need to dart out well, of yeah, that uh, exactly. gateway ready to see one accident uh, earlier this morning Claudio Jensen okay ah well played oh well recovered nearly well recovered got to the ball which is with no mean feet but couldn't control it really well disguised that shot by Liel Around though, Salingo. Oh, well played. Well played, Leal and Salingo. Great block there from Salingo, wasn't it? Because I think probably Javi Garcia, when he saw that set up, he thought he would have been thinking, here we go, 15 all. Chothas and the smash too. Well played, Alex Chothas there controlling that point. Both Claudias are sat on the bench watching. Could be 
their first three points of the event. And they won't finish bottom, they'll finish third in the group. Again, has him stretching where he can't control it. 40 15. Oh, sorry, Chothas. Paulo Garcia just apologizing. Looks like we're going to a tie break. Oh, it does indeed. Another one. Second in two matches. Oh. We are indeed going to a tie break. Just Six all after the first set. Then. Still has those reflexes. Forty-two minutes. That well, so far. So first serve of this tiebreak for Chothas. Just, just, just out. Really tough one to call this tiebreak, isn't it? Really, I think really. The match is a difficult one to call. There's no guarantee. Whoever wins the first set will win the second set. Amazing, amazing. I mean, he was behind the service line, Lial, and you had Pablo Garcia at full stretch jumping up by the net, and even he couldn't get close. Looking at that, it's a little bit higher than I originally thought, that smash from Pablo, because I, th I thought for a minute Garcia had just... Like, missed it almost. Had just missed it, yeah. Or just got there and not been able to... Crafty. So crafty, so you go. Got back brilliantly. And recovered again, but still the advantage with Selingo and Leal. Tremendous there by Pablo Garcia. But what a way to end the point, Leal. Great smash. 3-1. Two. No prisoners there from Alex Chothas. Players will be switching ends off the next point. Salingo with a mini break will serve. Certainly rather get hit in the yeah. back than there. <laughs> well, this time, Garth here getting a bit higher. Perhaps the smash coming back slightly lower from Liao or tied Now, Salingo have one more serve after the players switch ends. And wow, look at that. Six all, three all in the tie break. Even Stevens. So we'll still go three all in the tie break in this first set. We just, just went away and good self-control there, I think, from Chothas to not, not be tempted to have a go at that first. Well, this tie break proving just as close as the set. Very difficult to choose between these two teams. 5-3 now. We do have a break. Chothas and Garcia. Salingo with Leal. Quick pep talk. Before Clay resumes. 
got to, they've got to win this point, otherwise it's a couple yeah. of match points against them, or set points against them, sorry. Once again, it just, just goes a fraction long. That so we was, have, yeah, that was a shot that was going to be a winner or just out because it was right there. So much backspin would have dropped dead. And in the end, oh, so unfortunate there for Lial. So to stay in this first set. I think he missed there. it. He got there no, and missed he it. he missed it. So wow. the first set after a tiebreak goes for Alex Chothas and Pablo Garcia, 7-6. Well, Pablo Garcia didn't catch it sweetly. And Lial just ran too far. He ran across the path of the ball. And in the end, it was slightly behind him. Excellent play by Chothas and Garcia. They played so, so well yesterday in that tight game. They were really unlucky <laughs> when they lost to the New York Atlantics in that super tight break. But you can see they are enjoying this experience, enjoying this event. Who wouldn't hear the PPL, the City's Cup in New York. And right now, it's looking very good for Houston Volts. It is indeed. They're one set away from a 2-0 win. I know our Spanish compatriots think that Chothas and Pablo Garcia were slight, favor, were slight favorites before this got underway. So he's still going right on top of that ball that just went out. There you can see that was a really unfortunate shot, that double-handed backhand, which was going in good two meters to spare on that right-hand side, and it hit the net, just came out. There we're seeing, <laughs> ouch, that easy. There's a grimace on his face there. So a very entertaining first set here. I suspect we'll have more entertainment in a moment or two. And I said after this, we have got the Las Vegas smash against the Arkansas Matrix. Toronto Polar Bears against the Flo Rider Goats. And to end us up, New York Atlantics against the Miami Paddle Club. It's like a tasting menu, isn't it, really? It just gets better and better and better. And this has been a pretty good start. Well, the top four teams in action in the final two sessions. Ooh. Great drop shot there from Selingo. 15 love. Good. Be with us just to keep Garthier deep. And Garthier making the mistake. Obviously, more players hit in this match than I think combined so far. I think we've had three <laughs> people take it on the. Well, Paul Javier had it twice, hasn't he? Thirty fifteen to the good though. It's a lovely lob. Incredible. That's an easy shot there, Garth here. They're taking a the gamble, Salingo. Back into position. Lial also. The backhand goes into the net. Still proving really hard to challenge the serve.
to block one it. There. Couldn't, yeah, do one. Anything. Couldn't do anything with it, could he? Yeah, straight at you. You don't have any room to manoeuvre. So holding serve to get us underway at the start of this second set. Silingo and Lial to just losing that first set. 7-6 on a tie break to Alex Chothas and Pablo Garcia. <laughs> well, these two teams playing to try and finish third in their groups. The losing team. Well, we'll end this set. Uh, City's Cup empty handed, but still good to qualify. Not all the clubs qualified. Uh, two clubs missing out the Stingrays and Cancun Waves. They uh, finished bottom two of the regular season standings. Javi Garcia serving. Sorry. Pablo Garcia. Fifteen love. <laughs> hat trick. That's a hat trick. Hey. Three and you're out. I think Thirty gets, love. Yeah, gets to take that ball home. Third time he's been hit poorly oh, inside of the knee. That's probably the most painful of them all, eh? right, on the in, right on the inside of the leg. Oh, that's a great shot there by Chothas. The uh, chancletazo. Which if you've heard, Eric, over the last couple of yeah, days, it's is my like favourite. It's my favourite uh, from the paddle glossary. Those words in Spanish are used for shots. In English, I'm a big fan of the chancletazo. Hmm. Chancletazo, if you haven't heard him before, is basically like throwing a flip flop. No, it's like when you hold a flip flop and you just swipe at something. Oh, as you do. As you do. As you do. Holding a racket, you just swipe. Normally that swipe is of, you know, above waist height and below your shoulder. Silingo to serve. You can try it at home, pick up a flip flop and just, <laughs> just <laughs> chancletazo. Take it to the furniture, but have yeah, a go at the but furniture. Yeah, but don't hit anyone. goes brilliant puts away Leal haven't seen a big hit from him in a while that's credit of course to Garcia and Chothas because both teams are just trying to keep the danger players as far as possible from the net and they can't get into those positions where they can hit smashes Quite clear the net. Garcia. Second serve. 40 love though. Doesn't quite get that right there, Pablo Garcia. So two go games to one. So far, everything in the second set going with serve. Well, the Houston Rockets have improved throughout the calendar year. Did a good job to qualify for the City's Cup in New York. The first competition which was held in Miami was won by the local team. They will be in action later on in this session against New York Atlantics. That's the final matchup on Thursday. 
And they played well against the Los Angeles Beat, a team that actually won an event. They took the second event in Miami, beating the Flowrider Goats 2-1 in the final. Arkansas's Matrix beat the Toronto Polar Bears 2-1 to take third place in that tournament. So when you look at some of the results early on, Paul, from the start of the season, some of the top performing sides, including the Las Vegas Smash, have run out of gas probably come the season finale. I think it's the fact that it is the season finale. The season's been long. There's been so many kilometers, haven't there, for lots and lots of players. And lots of kilometers in, in for example, knees, players such as Javi Galan, obviously not in, in any of these teams. He's, he's complained, for example, that he's been really struggling with his knees in le recent cut tournaments. And it just depends who you've got available, I think, as well. Like Las Vegas Smash, as you say, won, the, won the, uh, the regular season, but haven't come here with such a strong team. I tell you, if they were playing All week respectful. in, week out, on uh, this wonderful Adidas court, they wouldn't have those issues. 2-1, Selingo and Leal leading this second set, dropping the first set, seven games to six in that tie break. Chothas serving 30 love up, looking to tie this second set, 2-2. Just a bit long. And that's gone a little bit long as well. Oh, I thought, I thought, sorry, for one moment my eyes deceived me. I thought that was Pablo Garcia <laughs> dinking his lob into the net. In fact, he didn't even get over the net for Pablo to do that. No, no, no. Just, uh, he can't, he's, he's in the way. We're standing, sitting right behind Pablo Garcia. So, uh, covered our view. There we saw Pablo Garcia just allowing that shot from Senego beyond him. And then using the wall just to give him a bit more time. Oh, brilliant stuff. Stay back, Garthia now can get forward. That was a tough shot that maybe time is wrong. Time for the run there. Another great rally. Oh, full stretch. Doesn't want that ball to bounce, does he? No, that was tiredness, that was tiredness. Did very well, Javi Leal, to actually get the ball back to him. Right. 30 love. Couldn't get enough on that one there, Alex Chothas. Difficult shot. That ball was really, really low. And of course, you get your racket under the ball. Can't really get much of an angle because otherwise your racket will hit the turf. And you have no chance of returning that shot. Just a bit too much there goes Salingo. Got the legs, hasn't it? 40 15. Just touching rackets there. Chothas, Garcia. Well done. Great shot. What a passing shot. 3 2 as we just passed the hour mark. 3 2 in the second set. Obviously, this first set going 7 6 after the tie break to Chothas and Garcia. It's interesting to see this. Uh, and of course, uh, Salingo is a coach and he's being coached. <laughs> I'm sure he 
has his own view of things, but of course, you've got to listen to your team coach. Awesome. Who has the best interest of both players. Yeah, it's a brilliant passing shot. Maybe Pablo Garcia was slightly too, yeah, too central. I thought, thought yesterday, Pablo Garcia, you know, we talked about smashing, but I thought he was brilliant defending at the net as well. He's maybe not been quite as good close to the net today. I think Leal has played really well. Mm. He has struggled, but not saying that Chingoto and Campagnolo didn't. But he seemed to be more comfortable. I think there's probably also less pressure on these two players because they weren't expected to do much against Campagnolo and Chingoto. So they had no pressure, they came in relaxed, and they played really well to their full potential. We've said yeah. this. I think both players played the best game of their season so far. Here, it's one of these ones you thought, OK, they could win this one. So maybe not favourites, but not expected to lose in straight sets. So with a bit more pressure, and of course looking for your first win, I think we can see that, especially with Pablo Garcia. He's mm -hmm. a less experienced player of the two. It's Pablo Garcia to serve. Trailing 3-2 in the second set, obviously. Everything going with serves so far. That's another one for the um, for the dictionary. Unlucky there from Javi Leal. As he puts that volley into the back glass. Great defending, great defending, and this time Pablo Garcia's smash just lets him down a little bit. I think he'd, he'd had seen two powerful shots blocked and just thought, well, I'm going to go for it again, doesn't get it right. Yeah, and Garcia not even moving. As soon as he saw Leal racing across, saw where his smash was going, knew it was game over. A little bit hasty there from Chothas as well, putting this into the, into the net on the bajada. to wish it out there. Hit the back glass also, Garthia after that shot. Oh, no! You can see how disappointed Silingo must be. I tell you what, if one of his players did that, he wouldn't be happy. I think see the beast again. <laughs> I think it shows just how much that they are really focusing on this match as well, the reactions. And again, he's left it a bit short. So yesterday he was putting those away, today he's left it short, and it's two break points. We've heard interviews with uh, some players saying, you know, they're very, very competitive, and they don't like losing even if it's against their younger brother or sister at a car game. You know, they're that competitive. So you imagine here, you know, it's... This is being watched around the world. There's a live stream in English and Spanish. It's the season finale, it's New York, it's an amazing setting. And you want to say, I want a game at New York. I don't know, I want a game. I want a game at the City's Cup and beat Salingo, a player who has, you know, been number one, played for over 25 years. Lial, another top player. And for these two guys as well, you know, Salingo saying, hey, I came back from retirement and won. Exactly. So it's a golden point, but neither Garcia nor Chothas were particularly happy at that point because they knew that they had given their rivals a sniff of a chance and I don't think Javi Leal will be particularly happy with that return either. No, it's just... Uh, a couple of mistakes creeping in. Yeah, but it was... It wasn't a tough serve. It wasn't a difficult shot to return. And he just seemed... It was as if he wasn't quite ready for this. I mean, only he knows what happened there. But anyway, it's... Uh, Salingo now, waiting to serve. The has gone off, counted to 10. <laughs> Calm down, back on again. Yeah, that's good. That's what he was doing yesterday so effectively as well. Love 15. Got hit again, by the way. Wasn't a tough one, but got hit again. The arm. That's 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 four. Five. five, I think it is. Five in total. Yeah, 
Good idea. Those are the shots that if it clears the net, when it bounces, it flies straight into that fence. We keep saying how difficult it is to gauge where the ball is going to go. Professional players struggle. Imagine uh, amateurs. As well as ones just kind of stand there, not too close to the fence, and then wait to see where the ball drops, and you've got very little time to react. A couple of errors creeping in in these last two or three games out there. I wonder if it's just a wee bit of tiredness creeping in. Have you played three games in three days? Not Pablo Garcia, but uh, the other three players on the court have. So this is their third game of the City's Cup. Garcia, of course, played yesterday. This is his second game, did not play on game day one. <laughs> well played, Selingo. You still have someone there going, tranquilo, calm. 40, 30. So another golden point and another break point. Yeah, just didn't quite get the effect, did it? Just you saw it just hold up. Well, they don't want to lose back-to-back -back golden points. Salingo and Leal. No, oh, but they have done. He asked for it, and if you ask for it, you've got to take it. And look at that from Salinga as well. Angered because, I mean, the first golden point in the previous game was a really easy shot and just sent it into the net. And there, there was no need. I mean, we saw plenty of that on day one. Day two, he improved, but there's no need for that shot. So two mistakes. And those two mistakes have cost, you know, two games. No, exactly. And you're thinking, hey, oh, come on, I can do that. I can. I'm not. I may be 41. I'm not exactly your granddad. So they are in a situation now, Chothas and Pablo Garcia. What if they're able to serve out? Hold well, their next all they couple need to of do, serves. Paul, is just hang on to their service games. They'll be serving for a 5-3 lead. Salinga and Leo are expected to win their service game for five, and then you're serving for the match. However. Easier said than done. I did say it the DJ, however, on the coach. I, yeah, I, I, I honestly, did say flat, I'm no, no big, reggaeton. Big fan of the uh, the music here. The DJ has done a great job, and uh, I mean, later on in the evening, you hear slightly more music and uh, different music too. You've got to pass him your playlist, Paul. Good luck yeah. with that. 10th Avenue freeze out. 10th <laughs> Avenue freeze out. That's all I'm saying. Ouch. Oh, that was uh, lucky. I mean, for a second there, you know, spitting as he did there, Salingo. Sometimes you get a bit of a groin strain, but you not, not back up to his feet. Not made of elastic, are you? No, no, no. It's uh, just lost his footing there for a second, quickly changing weight from one foot to another. So obviously, you know, how do you react to the shot? You don't have much time. And sometimes you're moving in one direction, something you've got to change and, well, you know, the weight's on the wrong foot. 30, love. Ah. Yeah, Garcia, that was a, uh, Give me. a regalo, as they say. Merry Christmas. Bit of a present there from Garthia, he knows that. 30-15. Wasn't a lob, it wasn't a passing shot. It was soft and straight to Salingo. Oh, 
No, he's not going to get to that one. 40-15. Doesn't get credit or hasn't got enough credit, I think, Charles Ass also for his smashing because we've seen so many mm. big hits from Garthier, but he can also, you know, put the ball away, Chothas. Oh, another little slip. Now they're playing on opposite sides. Oof, got a Some vicious players bounce. are desperate to get back into position again. See, misunderstanding. Do I switch? Do I stay where I am? Look, they're not too sure. Uh, they've won the point. Some players get really nervous yeah, when you can see that. So it, it, no, Pablo Garcia yeah, looked really yeah, nervous. And Saliga there. knew that, and he was kind of saying, you know, let's take advantage of it. Balls down the middle because they're not too sure who's going to go there. 5 3 in big, big trouble, Salingo and Leal. Still just that one breakdown, but you've also got to hold your next two serves. Goes long. Love 15. Just holding his nerve again. 15 all. It'll chop at that then from Javi Leal. Oh, that oh. is a wonderful, oh. I'm wonderful shot. I am shot. on my feet. I am on my feet applauding. And what a passing shot. Three match points. And just shows how quickly these oh, well, can change. I mean, in the blink of an eye, two games. Game set and match. So we just missed the match point there. We were seeing that last wonderful shot from Trotschothas. And all of a sudden, it's over. Well, congratulations to... Chothas and Garthier deservedly winning their first game at the City's Cup. Just shows how very quickly things can change, can't it? Because at 3 all you were thinking, oh, I don't know what's going to happen here. But as it is, that means the Houston Volts take three points because they've won the first two matches. There's no need for the mixed doubles which means that after a short break, of course, we've got a few formalities we have to go through. You know them all by now. We will have the Las Vegas smash and the Arkansas Matrix. But first of all, Eric. We're looking forward to the smash of the match brought to you by Adidas. Mr. Liao. Congratulations. Uh, unfortunately, not winning this game, but hitting the best smash of this men's double match. So congratulations to the winners. Three points. They must be enjoyed by that victory. I think they'll be happy. They'll have the afternoon now to we'll do a bit of sightseeing as well. So we have got off to a positive start here in the Dougal Greenhouse. We'll be moving on pretty soon. Look at that hand action from your man there. That is very impressive. I, I like that. Well, they don't have much time. I mean, they have I slightly more time oh, look at that. now. Like, I mean, look at that. That is an art. That is an art. I mean, I want you to do you know what? Do you know what? He's doing it in time with the music. I mean, that is style. Flow. I mean... <laughs> Hats off to the man. Look, he's got the moves, he's got the grooves, and there he is, making sure... I mean, look how quick they do it, because obviously between games, you have little or no time. You get 30 seconds after game one, 90 seconds yeah. between the games. Has slightly more time here. He's making sure that is spanking clean for the next game. It will now, be gleaming, won't it? Looking forward to that next uh, matchup. Of course, this matchup over. Jensen Fernandez beating Castillo Orsi. 6-4, 7-6 and a two-set win here for Garcia and Chos at 6-7. And, well, that's 6-3, I think. Uh, I mean, it was a blink of an eye. For a second, we thought, OK, this could be another one that goes to a tie-break. But there were a couple of missed shots, a couple of golden points they lost, and in the end, deserve winners, Chothas and Garcia. And I believe we can go across now to our courtside reporter, who is there with the winners. Congratulations to Chothas and 
Garcia. Speaking of style, Armand Julian. Congratulations, the Houston Bulls, for another epic win here with Alex Chosas and Pablo Garcia. Uh, Pablo, uh, I was looking at this ball, and after you hitting those smashes, this ball needs uh, physical therapy. I mean, this ball, you destroy that ball. Uh, where do you get so much power on those shots? Bueno, lo primero, dar gracias a mi equipo, ante todo a, a Chocita, que disfrutamos dos días muy buenos. Y, y nada, bueno, la pelota está pa, para reventarla, no está para, para otra. Mi compañero también lo sabe hacer muy bien. Eh, la pista, si está bien plantado, sale bastante. Pero bueno, también darle la enhorabuena a Javi por el nivel que está mostrando, que está abarcando toda la pista, como si fuese un puma, como le llama su entrenador. Y nada, Silingo, que es un placer jugar contra él, que es una leyenda. Y, y nada, muy contento. Dar saludos siempre a la familia, a mi chica, a mis amigos, a todo el mundo. Y... Y gracias, Choza, por hacerme sonreír. Un partido más. Well, he's saying that uh, the ball is it's really made to be destroyed like he did in this, this match. Uh, happy to be playing with Alex Chosas and happy, happy to be playing against Silingo and his partner. So, Alex, uh, tell me a little bit uh, how the court felt. ¿Cómo se sintió la pista? Bueno, eh, primero que nada, quiero agradecer al equipo por el esfuerzo de de llegar a las estancias finales. Eh, sabíamos que era un torneo muy complicado y, y pudimos llegar hasta entre los mejores eh, ocho equipos. Eh, bueno, sensaciones de la cancha. Eh, la verdad que eh, me sentí bastante cómodo. Eh, lo que sí, un poco eh, capaz eh, había un poquito de, de harina de más. Pero bueno, eso creo que se puede ajustar a lo largo de los días. Eh, pero bueno, la cancha está, está muy, muy linda, muy buena. El, el escenario, todo, todo parece... Eh, muy profesional, así que los felicito a todos por hacer esto posible. Y bueno, a Palito que, que nada, que acá estamos sonriendo, eh, estamos disfrutando mucho, así que felicitarlo y agradecerle por jugar conmigo. Well, happy to be to fin be finished in the, in the top eight, uh, playing with Pablo. It's a truly, truly pleasure. The core is fantastic. Uh, it's a little bit sandy, but uh, he, he plays great on, on my game style. And I'm, I'm uh, happy for the win and, and happy to, you know, to bring the team uh, one one level up. Guys, Houston Bolt, let's go, baby. Go right, go boom. Okay, well, what are we going to do now? We're going to see some of the highlights of that match. 7-6. 6-3 for Alex Chozas and Pablo García against Gusselingo and Javi Leal. Really, really, really tight first set. Went to the tie break. It was one break each in the set. Some big hitting. And some... Nice little subtle touches as well. That was that uh, shot that uh, Silingo thought was out. The umpire said it was in, and uh, I think maybe for uh, you know a few points was uh, dwelling on that shot, something you can't really do in paddle. And we saw that also in the second set, seeing what happened here at the end of the first set, that tie break seven six. But in the second set, it was really really tight, and there were a couple of uh, golden points. Uh, now making two mistakes in those golden points. And here you can see he got where he needed to be, took a swipe, just missed, timed the hit. And uh, Salingo behind, uh, turning away as if to say, damn, that's another missed opportunity. But Salingo was there, all he had to do really was take a step, wasn't he? So that was a big moment. Went to the second set and it was tight again, 3 all. And then they just yeah. were able to stretch the elastic. Chothas and Pablo Garcia. Well, they were brilliant, and I'm glad they go home with one win in the bag. OK, we're going to have a little break. We'll be back very soon. Our next match, Las Vegas, Arkansas Matrix.